you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um if you're new here my name is sarah i make haul videos and soon i am going to be starting like a weight loss series so if you're interested in that and then hauls different types of hauls go ahead and subscribe down below turn on that post notification bell so that way you don't miss an upload and also like this video if you enjoy my content also comment down below if you have any suggestions on videos so today i got 90 percent of my products from ulta and then from sephora so i just went ahead and threw those products in my ulta bag i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got okay you guys here is my huge ulta bag So the first product I have here is the biggest product in the bag, and this is the Bedhead uh, Deep Waver. It's called Mess Behave, and I guess they have like different styles or something. So I got this one because it was on sale for Black Friday, and this is probably, I think I got maybe one or two products for Black Friday that were on sale, and this one was $23.99 on sale, and the original price I believe was... $39.99. The thing I got is something that I had been wanting for a while. This was $30 and they smell so good. It's called Good Girl by Carolina Carolina Herrera. So yeah, I went ahead and got this. Okay guys, next I'm going to show you the makeup products that I picked up because honestly I didn't get a lot of makeup. I just got like three items kind of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So first off, I have the e.l.f. Pencil Sharpener for some of my lip liners that I need to sharpen. And I heard this one was a really good one and it was only $2. So I went ahead and picked that up. And here is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer. And this one was like $6. Um, I was really between the CoverGirl and the Milani, which is about $8. Because I heard the best reviews on those two as far as drugstore prices go. So I got two lip liners, one in Keep It Spicy by LA Girl, and then the other one is called Enduring Mauve by LA Girl. And I did swatch these just earlier. The This one right here is the, um, the Keep It Spicy, and then the one on top is this one, Enduring Mauve. So they're really pretty colors. Moving on you guys to the skincare products. I'll go ahead and go over the skincare products from Ulta. And then last I will go over whatever I got from Sephora. Actually let me go ahead and show you the body scrubs that I picked up. So first off I have this Tree Hut scrub. Well, it's called Island Bliss, and then it has coconut right here. So I got this, and if you have not picked this up, it smells so good, like so good. I um, honestly have only really tried the Moroccan Rose, and that one is like my favorite. It has like a perfumey type of scent to me, but once I smelled this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I think this is my new favorite. It just smells so good. Like Next, I have here the tree cut a eucalyptus blossom and this one has like a refreshing lightly minted type of smell always got to smell it yes oh that smells so good boom get you some of that if you have it and then if you don't know i love tropical coconut type of scents this right here smells so good it's called coco colada so that kind of tells you what it smells like it smells so good it smells like coconut and pineapples just like it has right here just imagine that scent that's what it smells like now moving on to skincare um fyi i'm currently using the inky list a glycolic acid toner this is the bottle the inky list it's kind of small no kind of small and it probably costs more than this which is the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution this was six dollars and eighty cents and the bottle is huge I think it's an eight ounce let me see this is an eight fluid ounce of the same thing and it's a huge bottle so that was a must but this is actually my first time using this one 
and hopefully it works just the same as the incubus i don't see why it wouldn't but yeah i got the next thing that i got by the ordinary is something that is that i've seen is like a hyped product a lot of people love this product um which is the aha 30 percent plus bha two percent peeling solution it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial um my skin is really sensitive and it gets inflamed really quickly when i break out so hopefully this can work because it takes a long time for dark marks to go away it says it visibly targets textural irregularities and lackluster tone and supposedly everybody loves it because it looks like blood which is i don't know how that's cool it's kind of weird but i don't even think about it like that it looks which we're just gonna say some berry juice, not no blood, because that's just, it's weird. So there that goes. And these um, ordinary products, they're all really good sizes. So this size is a one ounce bottle, I believe. Yeah, it's a one fluid ounce, and so are the other two products that I got, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. All right, the next product is the lactic acid 10% plus HA. Probably can't see the words, but there it goes. And it says it's a high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation, which is supposedly supposed to be like a lighter version of the peeling solution, the red one. This isn't red, it looks like this. Looks like that. Oh, almost dropped it. This is actually like a watery type of formula, which I like because I don't really like things that are too heavy on my face. And yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. This one says that it targets uneven tone, textural irregularities, and fine lines. So of course, who doesn't want that? And the next thing that I got, um, I actually seen a few people say that it works really well when you pair these two together. And this one is the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA Serum. So especially when you're breaking out and you have those dark marks and stuff like that, hyperpigmentation, these will the effects will come faster, I guess, and you'll see results faster if you're using these together. So definitely had to pick these up. The only thing that I'm missing that I should have got is the Neosinamide um, Serum. I guess I was just iffy on that one. I wasn't sure if I should really get it. Actually, a lot of people like it, but I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to go back and pick it up because now I want it. So another thing that I wanted to pick up from Ulta is the rose hip oil from The Ordinary. But I was really iffy because I don't want nothing too heavy on my skin. And I don't know. I seen one girl on TikTok that said um, it's not worth buying because it just sits on your face and it's greasy. And that's something I don't want. And others say it gives you such a plumpy, it gives you plumpy skin and it makes your face glow or whatever and it hydrates your skin, which is what I do want. So I don't know, I guess I just, it's trial and error, you just gotta try it out and see. But if any of you have tried the rosehip oil by The Ordinary, please comment down below and let me know like what your skin type is and how you liked it, you know, and if it like worked for you uh, because I really wanted to get it. So yeah, just let me know down below. And back to the Alpha Arbutin. I'll show you guys. Say that it targets hyperpigmentation and dark spots, which is what I am aiming for. This is how the bottle looks. It's glass, they're all glass, except for the, the toner, it's in a plastic bottle, but uh, pretty much everything else, if it's not in like a squeeze tube, it's in a glass bottle like this. Okay, you guys, the next items I got that I threw in my Ulta bag are from Sephora, and it's three items. Uh, two of them are from the Inky List, so the first one I have is this Retinol. I did a lot of research on Retinols, affordable ones, of course. I've seen reviews on, um, I don't remember what the other ones were, I just remember that this was like a good starter Retinol. I don't remember how much it was, but if I can find the price to any of these items, I will definitely put them on the screen. I love the formula of it. Whatever the formulation is, it's perfect for my skin and my skin is sensitive. This retinol is a really good starter retinol, but everybody's skin's different, so do your own research. The thing I have is this polyglutamatic, polyglutamic, 
poly polyglutamic polyglutamatic I don't know polyglutamatic acid it helps lock in moisture basically it's like the hyaluronic acid serum that helps lock in that moisture but this is supposed to be like a thousand times better than that and um and it like it's just so smooth like your skin feels so good and it like absorbs into the skin pretty fast too supposedly it helps in the long run like with your skin texture and the plumpiness of your skin so you know who don't pump on there let me show you guys it's like that but i hate that their products are so small i wish they came in like bigger packages not a package bigger bottle so you can get more product but this stuff is really good just think of it as hyaluronic acid but even better this is it so definitely check it out by the way nothing in this video is sponsored i bought this all with my own money the next thing is something that um i wouldn't have known about if it wasn't for hiram and i'm sure everybody knows who hiram is he always talks about this youth to the people um face wash and this is just a small glass uh, size because i wanted to try it out first and it just came in this package right here i think it was like 13 dollars that is kind of pricey i love that this is in a glass package this is a two fluid ounce um glass little bottle i think i forgot to mention it earlier but i am going to be doing a review um on the ordinary pilling solution so if you guys are interested in that um definitely subscribe don't forget